Hello, welcome to another Facebook Friday or on a Thursday. <laughs> I'm always so used to saying that Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday on a Thursday. Yes, so thank you guys for um, hanging with me. My schedule has been a little bit nutty lately, so I appreciate you kind of following me along on the Thursdays instead of the Fridays. That's working out pretty well, I think. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, a little frog in my throat there. So yeah, this week we are going to be playing with, it is the Wrapped in Christmas stamp set. This has uh, honestly become one of my favorite sentiment, like Christmas sentiment stamp sets because they've got so many great sentiments in here, right? So Wrapped in Christmas, right? We've got um, Christmas blessings to you and yours in that beautiful kind of cursive font right there, right? Then we have, I love this one too, May Your Days Be Merry and Bright with all the little detail around there, right? Then um, surround yourself in the love of the season. That one was really hard for me to read, but I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Um, a little something for you that'd be cute on like treat packaging, right? Hey Kay, you found me, yay, so glad you could be here. Um, let's see, this is a good one. Friends and family are the truest gifts of the season. Hey, Ashley, glad you can join us again. Thank you so much. Um, then there's Noel and uh, Peace on Earth. That's a beautiful one right down there too, right? And then this is kind of this tall one, right? Let the joy of the season fill your heart. I love that sentiment too. And then last one, it's the most wonderful time of year. So beautiful, awesome sentiment stamps that wrapped in Christmas. This is what we're going to be playing with in just a little while. We are also playing with, so it's kind of part of the is it called? I don't think, I think it's the heartwarming hug suite. So I have, <clears throat> I have the catalog open up to something else I wanted to show you guys. But yeah, it's part of that heartwarming hugs suite. You can see all the fun goodies um, on that page of the catalog. But we're also using the heartwarming hugs designer series paper. It's a gorgeous, like traditional red and green. It's kind of a, what are the colors? They say real red, uh, pear pizzazz and uh, mossy meadow my eyes are really bad that's so hard for me to read but anyway those are the colors that are included in the designer series paper we're going to be using that designer series paper as well on the projects hey cheryl thanks for joining us so yeah just a beautiful suite of products um there is also so we've got the warm hugs stamps that we're not actually playing with that today here i am trying to like make sure and then the um what are they? The dies, the warm wraps dies that coordinate with both this stamp set and then the one where, that we're using, the wrapped and Christmas stamp set too. So, ooh, I just raked my leaves yesterday and I hear that machine. I think maybe they're gonna come like sweep them up. How awesome that would be, because I was really worried like, you know, if it gets windy, then they're gonna be blown all over the place. And I spent like a good hour and a half to two hours out there yesterday trying to get all those leaves um, like to the curb, basically. So, oh, I'm really, I think they're coming. I see the guy with his rake. Yes, that is awesome. So then they'll be gone. So sorry, <laughs> you know, I'm always so easily distracted, right? The squirrel. <laughs> okay, so there, I got my page back there for what we're gonna be looking at next. Hey, Lori, I feel like I've missed names too, so I apologize if I haven't said hello. I wonder if I can, can I scroll back through and see who else is on here? Yep, okay, all right, I think I did. There are a few more eyeballs than I'm seeing names, so I don't know why that happens. But anyway, hello, if I haven't said hello, maybe your name will pop up soon. So yeah, so hopefully you guys all have had a good week. Hello, Sharon, glad you can join us. Um, what else is going on? Oh, last couple of days of the designer series paper sale. We have what, this is today the 29th, right? 29, 30, 31, so we have three days, yeah because Saturday is Halloween, right? What fun, right? On the 31st. So you have until Saturday at midnight Mountain Standard Time. Hey, Teresa, to take advantage one last time if you haven't already, which actually that heartwarming hugs, there's a hair somewhere. Where is it? It's gonna be like in my mouth. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Hopefully you can't really hear that. He's right outside coming by slowly because I have a lot of leaves. Hey Barb, glad you could be here with us. So anyway, yeah, the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper is one of them that's on sale. So I think you're gonna have to have it if you don't have it already, once you see the projects that we're gonna make. And all of those, so generally speaking, the Designer Series paper that is $11.50 in the catalog when it is discounted that 15% off, it's $9.78. I'm pretty sure that's what that says. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, any of them that are $11.50 are discounted down to $9.78. Are there any specialty papers? 
Maybe not. Maybe they're all the regular. So anyway, yeah, so make sure this is the last couple of days, right? Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Take advantage of the Designer Series paper sale. So in case you ha have been living under a rock, I'll give you a quick list of, um, did I say hello, Susan? <laughs> I don't know if I did or not, but thank you for the share too. Um, anyway, I'm gonna give you a quick list of all of the Designer Series paper that's on sale, just in case, like I said, you've been living under a rock and you don't know about this. So we have the Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper. Um, that's in the annual catalog. Thank you for sharing, Debbie. <laughs> Lori, yup, I'm here. Good, I'm so glad. Uh, let's see, Tis the Season Designer Series paper. That's the six by six paper pack that's in the holiday catalog. Forever Greenery Designer Series paper, point set a place in trimming the town and plaid tidings. So we've got like four right there, all from the holiday catalog. Also the Twall Tidings Designer Series paper. And then back in the annual catalog, the Peony Garden and Whale of a Time Designer Series paper. Um, also heartwarming hugs that I'm going to show you. Magic in the Night, that is the um, Halloween paper. Snowflake Splendor, which is my absolute favorite, the, all the blues. Uh, snowflake paper, right? And then again, back in the annual catalog, oh, that's the one, the In Good Taste, that is like a double pack of Designer Series paper retails normally for, I'm pretty sure that says $21, but it's $17.85 um, with the 15% discount. And then also Playing With Patterns Designer Series paper and that cute Playful Pets Designer Series paper. So all of those are on sale, again, in case you uh, don't know about that so take advantage you got a couple more days and then that deal will be gone 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 um oh okay so the other thing a one day retreat is coming up it's like two weeks from saturday on saturday november 14th and i need rsvp and payment if you're like waffling if you're not sure if you want to come or not friday is the last day to sign up for the one day retreat because i have to get your goodie bags ordered get all the cute treats made um figure out what food i'm going to feed everybody and just kind of get everything all organized so this friday tomorrow october 30th is the last day to rsvp for the one day retreat and then actually the retreat in a box so if you can't make it to the one day retreat but you still want all of the goodies um, I send you the make and takes and I do a PDF tutorial on how to put the projects together you get the treats that I give everybody I always throw out a little something extra and then you also get the goodie bag that everybody gets at the retreat so you can get your retreat in a box too and that RSVPs are actually due on Monday for that so I've got a couple more days to think about that but if you have any questions please let me know the um, retreat in a box is $45 and then to have it shipped to you because I have to put it in a priority mail box to keep everything um, uh, safe, right? That is uh, an additional $15 for um, shipping. So it's $60 to have it shipped to you or $45 if you're local and you want to come pick it up off the porch, okay? Um, what else, what else? I think we are ready to do our first drawing and I see some sharing to the video. So thank you guys so much for sharing the video. You guys know I truly appreciate every single share every day, all day long, whenever you wanna share. When you do that, your name goes in my little Stampin' Up! bag, basket, trash bin, whatever you wanna call it right here. So I've got lots of names in here for everybody that shared last Friday's video. Hey Deb, how are you? So we are gonna, actually I'm shaking those around, but let me remind you, we are drawing for, can you see them? Maybe a little bit better on the, on the back side, right? These are those glitter star ornaments. So these beautiful, fun, silvery ornaments that have like a little silver um, string on them too. So this is what we are going to be giving away today. So let's see. And like I said, if you uh, share the video, your name is in here as many times as you shared. Share the video 10 times, your name's in here 10 times. Share it once, your name's in here once. Thank you for sharing, Barb. Um, so your name will be in next uh, the next Facebook Live video drawing. Also, if you're new to me and haven't signed up for my email list, your name is in here if you just did that since uh, last Thursday's Facebook Live video. Okay, so here we go. The winner is, ah, oh, Miss Mary Ann McGinnis. Congratulations, Miss Mary Ann. I will get your glitter star ornaments sent right out to you. So awesome. You'll have some fun putting some projects together with those um, fun star, glitter star ornaments. So this week, and this is why I have my um, catalog open. 
I'm gonna give away, this is a bolt of the gold cord. Hey, Tracy, thank you for joining us. The awesome gold cord, this is beautiful. It's gonna be perfect for like um, gift tags, wrapping Christmas gifts. Um, it's just the perfect kind of, um, it's, it's heavy duty enough that it's easy to work with, um, not super flimsy. So anyway, I love this gold cord and it is part of, because I used a ton of um, the other. So the Wonder of the Season Ribbon Combo Pack, that's where that gold cord is in that right there. It is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Tracy. I'm seeing all these comments pop up here. So yeah, I used a ton of, this is, I think it was Garden Green, isn't that? Oh no, Shaded Spruce. They call it the Argyle Satin Ribbon. I think I brought it over. I'll show you guys, because we're gonna use this gold cord on one of the um, projects that I'm gonna demonstrate. So I'll show you that other ribbon um, in just a little bit. But anyway, I'm giving away the gold cord that's part of this combo package, because I used like three bolts of that Shaded Spruce Argyle Ribbon. And so I have all kinds of this gold cord left, which I know I'll use some for my own holiday gift wrapping and tags and so on. But I thought, let's get some out to somebody else and you guys can enjoy that also. So share the video, sign up for my email list, and next Facebook Live we will draw for the gold cord, okay? So I also want to give a quick congratulations to Miss Sherilyn Hendrick. She is one of our Inkspired Stampers, one of my team members, who just reached what we call qualified team member, which means she started, she just bought the starter kit not too long ago, and she's gotten to $900 in sales. So she becomes what they call a qualified team member with her $900 in sales, and she receives a $25 shopping spree from me for reaching that level. She also is halfway to her bronze elite promotion at $1,800 in sales, which is like the thing that everybody wants to get to because then you get 25% off of all of your orders instead of just 20%, or you earn income, 25% income rather than 20% income. Hey, Susie, thank you for joining us. So congratulations, Miss Sherilyn. She is kicking butt and kicking cancer's butt too, may I add. Um, she's been fighting cancer for quite I think it's like over a year or more, maybe even. So yeah, she's been through lots and lots of chemo and just working super hard trying to kick cancer's butt. And so we send lots of prayers to you, Cheryl, and too. In addition to, you know, kind of keeping her mind off of things at times, right? This is like the beauty of Stampin' Up, playing with the cute, the paper and the ribbon and the embellishments and the stamp sets and just kind of taking your mind off of your worries, right? So again, congratulations, Miss Sherilyn. So yes, uh, let's see. I'm just like whipping through things here because I have lots I want to share with you guys. But I think... Um, <clears throat> I was gonna say we're gonna draw, but actually I only had one online order last week, so I don't even have to draw. I can tell you that Miss Tammy Mitchell is the proud new owner of the 2019-21 In Color Designer Series Paper Pack. So you can see um, this is the Pretty Peacock paper and this is the Cocoa Rose paper with that kind of wood grain and some polka dots and there's other fun stuff in there too. So you guys, I, I jokingly say this, right? But your odds are so good of winning these drawings each week because I don't get that many online orders. For example, right, Tammy's the only one. So don't even have to draw her name. She automatically receives this Designer Series paper. She also chose, because she bumped her order up to over $50. She got to choose from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the October embellishment, which are the wonderful gems. And she picked the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. So that is being emailed out to her also. So yes, awesome. And she gets the projects I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live too as my thank you to her. So lots and lots of good freebies for ordering through me, which I truly appreciate. So thank you guys for every single online order that I get. I do truly appreciate those. So with that being said, the next week when we do Facebook Live, this is what we're gonna give away. It's actually the Regal's Designer Series paper pack. So not to be confused, actually this is kind of cool because it shows us all the patterns. So here's the wood grain and then um, kind of the, it's almost like typewriter print. And then on the other um, sheets are the polka dots 
or there's this one that's kind of like a textured look to the paper too. So this is what we will give away. Your name will go in the drawing to win the Neutrals Designer Series paperback. That looks, wow, that lighting gets really weird when I hold that, <laughs> when I hold that blue up. It's Night of Navy. That's funny that that makes it look so weird. Anyway, so yes, this is what we will give away. You get two sheets of each of the 10 Neutrals colors um, in here, two of each pattern. So lots of good paper in here. For you to enjoy. So that's what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live if you put an online order in of at least $30, okay? I'll give you the host code. I have, um, still on my blog, I have October's host code, but I'm gonna switch it over after I post um, this Facebook Live stuff to our November host code. Um, and honestly, if you use the October one, it's still gonna be open for a little while, so don't worry too much about that. Whichever host code you have, you can use either one. Um, hopefully that doesn't confuse you too much, but I'm gonna post the new one. Um, <clears throat> When I post the blog post right on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com, I will give you everything that you need to know about the projects that I'm going to demonstrate in just a couple minutes. Will be on my blog, all of the item codes, all the colors, the dimensions, everything you need to purchase what you need to recreate and then actually recreate the projects. So, yeah. And the new um, host code will be on there too. So, okay, I think, yeah, man, I got through that stuff pretty quickly. But let's, we're going to, um, yeah, I'm done. Okay. I thought I had more. Okay, but that's good. So then I'll have more time because sometimes I feel like I rush through the cards. So now I can just kind of take my time um, and we can enjoy ourselves putting these projects together. So turn your heads away, um, flipping the camera down. We will fly through the air and um, get started on some stamping. I have one other thing I want to show you guys too um, after we flip the camera down. So bear with me just one sec here, ladies. Get that set. I think it's okay. It almost looked like it was flapping a little bit. Let's see. Okay. I think we are good. Let me get things straightened out a little bit. So let me grab. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh. So where is my host code paper? Hmm. I forgot to grab that. Give me one sec. I think I know right where it is. I hope. <laughs> I'll be back in one. In the meantime, why don't you enjoy these? This is, um, that purple makes the lighting so weird. We did scrapbook pages earlier this week at scrapbook class. So let me show you. Does that one, maybe that one doesn't make it. I don't know. The lighting gets weird. So enjoy that page for a moment. I will be right back. Hold on. crazy? I had it. I know I did because I printed it at work. So we have a color printer at work and I've been trying to print. Hmm. Well, okay. So I will give you guys the host code, but it'll be up on my blog. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. So anyway, that's okay though. You guys know the drill, right? This is last week's. So you can even use this one too. The Y-E-D-V-S-D-Q-H. I think that's the right one. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> okay, my mind is a little bit, yeah, that looks like the right one. Yeah, okay, so you can use this one still too. Either way, whichever host code you use, this one or the November one. Sorry, I know I'm being like really crazy here, but I'm so, I'm actually super annoyed with myself that I can't find that because I know I printed it and brought it home and now I'm like, where did it go? So anyway, it's here somewhere, but that's how it goes. Okay, so in the meantime, these were scrapbook pages that we made at class. You can see my favorite. I love everything about the blues, even the purple, all of the snowflakes, the beautiful, look at the blue gems with the May Your Season Sparkle. Love that sentiment too, right? We use the um, Dino and Friends dies on that one and on this one too with the snowflake wishes for a Merry Christmas. You can see more of the beautiful, I love those snowflakes are just gorgeous. And then the the um, blue gems too, right? So sparkly, beautiful. And then more of the designer series paper. We actually use some of the balmy 
blue glimmer paper right there, along with another little baby gem, blue gem there too. So awesome set of scrapbook pages. I think I showed you, so we always do three pages. So we did that two page spread and then a single page spread, which was a fall page. I showed you guys those a couple weeks ago because um, we make a single page that coordinated with last month's single page. So that's how we end up with three pages, but you always get um, <laughs> two pages that coordinate. Does that make sense? <laughs> Okie dokie. Here we go. Let's put the grid paper out, right? We'll get that going. And let me show you guys our first project. So I love, I kind of wanted to do fun folds. I've been needing to add a little spice into my life. So I love simple, but just a simple little fun fold. I love that one, right? So we've got friends and family are the truest gifts of Christmas. And then I love that sentiment, right? Surround yourself in the love of the season. There we go. Now we're a little bit better in view. I'm like looking at it myself, right? So very good, right? Again, so featuring our wrapped in Christmas stamp set. We've got that set sentiment and then we've got that one on the inside so let me show you oh the other thing oh my gosh this paper so can you guys see this is some of the red foil paper I cut that with um, the Stitch So Sweetly dies, right? So I have to show you because this paper is beautiful. So you get, I think you get two sheets of each. So check that out. Look at that red, right? Woo, isn't that awesome? So we've got red foil and green foil. I, I would say that's probably garden green and real red. They just say red and green foil sheets, I'm pretty sure. Um, yep, it just says red and green foil sheets and you get four sheets, so you get two of each. So two green and two red. I love that paper. I was just been so excited to show you this paper and I haven't had a chance to yet. But the other paper, so I tried it also with, this is the red velvet. So can you kind of, can you hear that? It's velvet. It really is like kind of, um, it's got all this like flocking on it. So I tried, there was something about it for me that, it's funny because now I think it looks great. But in my craft room the other day when I made this project, the color didn't, it was too almost too red somehow. So I think you could do either one. Hello, Miss Lisa in Wisconsin. But anyway, so I just have to show you that because this, where well, you get red velvet paper also totally separately. You can get these foil sheets. You can get the red velvet paper. Can you see? It's maybe hard, but it's so, it's just like soft and luxurious. Um, this is the back. There, there's no, sometimes people think there's like a backing you can peel off, which is not the case. It's just how this is made. But this is beautiful also. So I hadn't had a chance to play with any of this kind of specialty fun paper. And I'm really looking forward to it now because I think the foil is beautiful. And then this, it's like a velour almost. It is, it's gorgeous too. So, <laughs> Oh, Barb is saying just jade goes wonderful with the green too. Oh, I bet it does. Yeah, good idea, Miss Barb. Okay, so now, all right, I think I can start showing you <laughs> how to make this project. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's the gold cord too. Okay, so this is what I was talking about earlier. The gold cord is what we're gonna give away if you share the video or sign up for my email list. And then if you um, don't win it and really want it, this is the combo pack. So that um, shaded spruce ribbon, and then the other one is the gold cord. So you can get a bolt of each of these in there, but isn't that, isn't that beautiful ribbon? Love that ribbon too. Beautiful, beautiful, and it's wide. It's a one inch. It almost seems wider than that to me, but it's an inch wide ribbon. So beautiful ribbon also. Okay, <clears throat> let's get these things out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys um, how we scored things, okay? Cut and scored. So we started with, this is an early espresso card base, okay? So here's our full sheet of cardstock, right? Our eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock. So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, okay? I'm actually gonna flip this around so it's mirroring what we've got here. So then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half, which is half like we normally would. And then we also scored it at two and three quarter inches to make that kind of 
fold there also. So this is the idea. You're gonna fold it this way and then you're gonna fold it back, okay? So that's the idea with that card, right? Then we're gonna use a piece of the Heartwarming Hugs. This is one of my favorite patterns in the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. That beautiful, and I love this color combination, the Real Red and Early Espresso. It's always been one of my favorites. Um, and then on the other side, we've got some polka dots, right? So we've got some Real Red, Mossy Meadow, and Old Olive, which are kind of the coordinating colors in that pickup paper. So this piece of Designer Series paper measures two and a half by four inches, and that's gonna go right on there, okay? Then the other pieces that you need dimensions for, this is my Early Espresso piece that goes right there. This one is two and three quarter by three and three, by actually, it's two and three quarter by three and seven eighths there. And then the whisper white piece on the inside that is four by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then we've just got, this is my extra strip of my red foil and then a piece of whisper white to do our stamping on, okay? So let's see, we don't need, these things are all ready to go to store stamping on that one. Okay, so let's do our stamping. The friends and family are the truest gifts of, this, of Christmas. We're gonna do that right on here. I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put that underneath there too. Yeah, so we've got our early espresso ink. So let's go ahead and open that baby up. Oh yeah, and my little scrolly things. Okay, so we've got that one right there. Now, <laughs> so this is this little, this little baby right here. I stamped that on the top and the bottom. And I was trying to eyeball it, and I'll admit, it's not perfect, but I thought it was pretty darn good. So I think, let's see if I can get that one. There, I actually like that one better because this one's not lined up quite as well as it could be. You could use your Stamparatus too. I tend to just kind of go for it these days. I used to be a Stamparatus girl um, or the stamp -a jig I used to use too even before we had the Stamparatus. So definitely if you are really wanting to line things up, I would highly encourage you to use your Stamparatus to make sure you got everything just so. But if you're like, yeah, it's good enough, which I've kind of become a little more like, you can do just freehand stamping also. So there we go. Surround yourself in the love of the season. I love that. So that's gonna go on the inside there. Okay, so I think we have our stamping done. So let's do our die cutting. Okay, get that out of the way. Let's move that baby up there. Okay, so we will grab our new cut and emboss machine. Is that in view? I think it's good, okay. So we have just a couple things we need to cut here. Let's see if we can do both of these, right? We'll do that one right there. And if I can get this one fed in, will that work? Do that one there and that one there. Okay. So we have, these are, let me make sure I'm saying it right. Yep, the Stitched So Sweetly dies. And again, I'll give you the names and item codes of everything that we're using. Um, on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. So we're going to use that, the biggest die and kind of those fun labels. And then this with a scallop rectangle, we're going to use the second largest, if you can see that one. So those are the two we're going to use on our projects. Okay, so I'm going to lay this one down on here and try to get it lined up nicely. That one looks good there. Okay, so then this one we're going to put on here. And it's kind of being funny, so I'm going to hope... <laughs> that it doesn't move. I probably should have cut this. Let's see if we can do this. If not, I'll cut it because it's kind of, yeah, you know what, just to be safe, let's cut it because it's kind of weaving underneath here and it's not really cooperating very well. This will work better for us. There we go. I probably could have cut that a little bit wider. <laughs> I'm not giving myself much wiggle room, but I think that's gonna be okay there. Okay, here we go. Ooh, how sleek and fabulous my new stamp and cut and emboss machine is, and I did it. <laughs> Just barely, but check that out. Isn't that so cool? Hi, Lynn, how are you? So glad you can be here with us today. All right, and then we've got our sentiment. I love the detail this creates. Oh, that's funny. That didn't cut the bottom. All right, we're going to run that back through. I must have had it. I don't know. I'm not sure what happened there. But we will pop this back on there. Let's run it back through. 
try this again. Okay, let's see. Oh good, now it cut it. There we go. So you can see all the little stitching details on there too. And I love the little scrollies, right? All right, so I think we are good. Let me get this guy out of the way. There we go. Okay, now I think, let's see, are we all, we're in good view, right? Okay, let's see. So we've got, I think I've got everything I need. Do, 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 dimensionals. Man, okay, I need to grab dimensionals real quick. Be right back. It's that kind of a day, ladies. Okay, at least I knew right where those were. Thank goodness. Okay, so what do we want to do first? Okay, let's put some adhesive on the back of this piece of designer series paper. So you guys see how that happens um, if you're... Stamp and seal isn't quite ready to go. You just put your finger to it, kind of advance it forward a little bit so it's ready to run for you. We'll put this one on the inside there too. It'll happen again, so I'll show you when I do that again, I'm sure. Or maybe it won't just because I'm doing the video, right? And I wanna show you guys how I do that. So that goes there like that, right? Then we have this piece we are gonna add directly onto our early espresso piece. Okay, I love this color combo, and I just absolutely love this sparkly red foil paper. There we go. Okay, now we are going to use our gold cord, and I'm gonna put a bunch of adhesive right there. So we are gonna tack this down back there. Well, hello, Miss Nancy. You got started a little late. That's okay, you can always catch up later. So I like to just kind of, oops, kind of cross that. So we've got kind of an X type of dealy there, right? Hello, Miss Diana. And we're gonna cut it so that I attach it right back over here. I don't want anything on this side because you kind of can see that back there. So I don't wanna put any adhesive or anything on that part. We're gonna have it all sticking right there, but I like how that's looking, right? I can always like maneuver things a little bit if I need to, but that looks good there, right? Okay, so now we are going to add a bunch of adhesive, but only on this one side again. Oh, there we go. So just use your finger and kind of roll it forward, okay? I'm trying to get I wanna get a pretty good amount of adhesive there. That looks pretty good, right? So we are gonna put this. So again, you don't want adhesive over here because you don't want it to stick to that white piece, okay? So we're gonna to try to center that kind of top and bottom and side to side. I'm gonna move that right there. Okay, we're gonna press very firmly there. Okay, and then we need our dimensionals, which is why I ran to get these a minute ago. So I'm gonna put a couple of dimensionals back here. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do you love that red foil? I can't stop like ooing and eyeing over it. <laughs> okay, and just that little gold cord just adds a little bit of kind of simple detail back there. And then the wonderful gems. So the full package looks like this. You get red gems and white gems and they've got like champagne kind of sparkles in them. Can you see? all the champagne sparkliness. So we are gonna grab a couple of, I've used all the red ones on other projects. So we are gonna grab a couple of the kind of white with the champagne or gold maybe. Let's see, we got that one right there. And there we go. So see, simple, beautiful, friends and family are the truest gifts of Christmas. Surround yourself in the love of the season. Isn't that awesome? And you've still got room. Like if you don't want to write here, you can write right over here your little um, sentiments to somebody, right? So card number one, right there we go, ladies. Let's see. Okay, we're going to scoot these things out of the way. I am going to clean just a little bit here so that I don't get ink all over anything. We'll clean our stamps. Thank you, Kay. I'm glad you enjoyed that project. There, let's see, we got a little bit on there. And one more here. 
So yeah, it's probably about time to wash the my chamois, huh? <laughs> it will still look pretty bad, but maybe not quite that bad once I rinse it out a little bit. Okay, so that was project number one. Now we have project number two, another uh, fun fold, simple fun fold. So check this out, ladies. You see how it opens? Um, so this piece, right, is our card base, and then we've got inside there that opens. I love that, it's just kind of something different, right? So, and again, we've got, um, let the joy of the season fill your heart. And then on the inside, this time I put, may your days be merry and bright. So cute, huh? Love that. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. I'm glad you enjoyed. I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Hopefully you like both of them. Okay, so we've got um, actually a bit of stamping and die cutting to do on this one. So let me grab what we need here. And, okay, let's see. Well, we'll get the stamps out. Ink. So we've got everything going there. I'm trying to get down. I always pile everything on top of the cardstock. I'm trying to get down to that point so I can show you all of our parts and pieces. Okay, so this one, again, we, uh, here's my red. I'm like, where's my red? The red base, right? So we have kind of a real red card base that measures four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's that piece right there, okay? And then the actual card that kind of flips open on top of our real red piece, this one measures five and one quarter by eight and we scored it at four inches. So you're gonna just fold that up like that and we're gonna adhere that right on there, okay? Then on the inside, we have a piece of Whisper White that's gonna go right there. And this one is measuring three and three quarter by five inches. Okay, hello, Julie, glad you can be here with us. Then on the in or outside of the card, we have this real red piece right here, that one that right there, that measures four and one quarter by three and one quarter. And then our designer series paper that fits right on there. And then this one measures four by three, okay? And then everything else, we've just got scrap pieces of paper for our leaves and our sentiment and then for the um, label behind it there, okay? And, and then this red piece, a little scrap of real red that's gonna be for that little guy inside there, okay? So let's do our stamping and I think I have enough. I'm just realizing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all of a sudden. Okay, yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure I have enough um, to do all my stamping. Okay, so we're going to start with our real red ink. Let the joy of the season fill your heart. What a beautiful sentiment, right? We're going to put that right on there. Oops, and it's upside down, but that's okay. Now it's not, okay? Then we have our sentiment. We're going to put that one right there. So isn't that so pretty? May your days be merry and bright. I love that. Okay, then we are going to grab our mossy meadow ink and we're going to stamp some leaves. Now the leaves came from the beautiful, gorgeous Forever Fern stamp set. I played with this a lot this summer and I haven't used it lately. And when I was doing this card, I'm like, oh, it just needs a little something else. And I happened to have a couple of these leaves on my craft table. And so I just kind of slipped them on there, different color, but I was like, oh, that's like the perfect little thing. That's exactly what we needed for this card. So we're gonna use the Forever Fern, those two fern pieces right there. And then we're gonna use the dies that will cut those little babies out. Okay, so we're gonna do this one. Right there, again, in Mossy Meadow ink, we have our two leaves. There we go, okay. All right, I think, do we have our stamping done? So we might as well, let's punch. This one, we are just using a one and a half inch circle punch for this little baby that lined up right there, okay. We'll put that right on there. So now we can do some die cutting. We have a bit to do, whoops. Here's our sentiment, okay. Let's see if we can get it all on here at once. We will try. Okay, this thing's getting on a skew here. So if this starts to kind of go, I don't know, can you even see that? It's a little bit rounded, a little bit concave. I like to just kind of, can you see? I'm just trying to kind of flip it back the other way. It doesn't keep it permanently, but I think it helps a little bit 
to kind of keep the bowing at a minimum there. And Stampin' Up! is working on that for us also. Okay, so I think we can do that and that and that. So I think we are good. So let me show you. We are using this little stitch circle piece is gonna go on our real red. So did I say that from the Tasteful Labels dies? Right, we're gonna use that little stitched circle there. Then we are gonna grab our, what are these called? From the Forever Flourishing dies. We've got our two leaves there, so we're gonna use those. Hello, Miss Dawn, thank you for joining us. So we've got that one there. I'll get those lined up in a sec. And then from our Dino and Friends, we're gonna use, oh, that's why this isn't gonna work, because I need both of these. All right, we're gonna have to run things through two times. That's okay. We will do those here. We'll do this one. We can put that one right on there. Okay, so let's try to get things lined up on here and there. And that one looks good. This one is not quite right. Let's get that right about there. Okay, so we're gonna have to do our other label, Mossy Meadow. I'm afraid to crowd it any more than it is. So we'll do that one in just a sec. We'll get these things all running through here. Okay. So I love this stitching one. Can you see that? The stitching and the little scallop edge on there too. Isn't that so pretty? So that's gonna go right underneath there. And we're gonna put that on the inside of our card, okay? So that's one. We grab these leaves. Those look good there too. And then our sentiment. Love that label, right? Okay, so now we're gonna do one more with our, so this was like the smallest size. This is the medium, we did not use the large. So with the medium one, we are going to put our Mossy Meadow cardstock on there and then just crank this right back through, okay? All righty, we've got that one. So our other label right there, and there is a little teeny tiny bit of embossing. I don't know if you can see that right around the edge there, it just has a little bit of detail. Okay, so we are done with our cut and emboss machine. Okay, we can start putting these babies together now too. This and this, we'll bring those over there. Okay, so where's my adhesive? Hiding. Okay, so we're gonna add some adhesive on this piece. That's another trick too. If this thing doesn't run, you can find where adhesive it is and it kind of helps get it running again. So we're gonna, Put that one right on there, right? Then we'll put this circle again that we punched with our one and a half inch circle punch. And I'll give you all of the details, everything we use to make these projects will be on my blog in just a little bit this afternoon. Okay, so I put adhesive on there and that's making me nervous now. <laughs> Actually, let's do that. Let's put it right on. So this one is gonna go right to there. Okay, so now we can put this on the inside of this mossy meadow piece. So there is the inside of our card, right? Now we're gonna add this one. There we go. And I do wanna get a quite a bit of adhesive on here because, see how I keep doing that? If it doesn't run, just go to a place where you have adhesive and it helps kind of get it running again. But I wanted to use a bunch of adhesive to make sure because this is this full card, you know, if people, somebody opens it kind of with a big flourish, right? You gotta make sure that it stays on there. Okay, so now we're gonna add this piece right here. Okay, so our designer series paper goes on a real red piece right there. Then we need a strip. I've got my real red sheer ribbon. I love this ribbon. So we're gonna do kind of a cheater bow. We're gonna put that right around there. Okay, and we're gonna just flip this over. We're gonna tack it on the back. That one there and that one there. I'm add some more adhesive on that piece. Okay, oops. Okay, that's a little bit crooked, isn't it? Okay, let's see, which one do I want? Maybe this one to go up a little bit. <laughs> it's a good thing I looked at that before I put it on the card, huh? Does that look straighter? I think it does. Okay, so then this is gonna go 
right about there, we'll say. We are gonna put this piece on with some dimensionals. So let's grab a couple of those little babies right there. Okay, well, hello, Joan, how are you? So glad you can hang out with us today. All right, so we're gonna put that sentiment right there. We're gonna add just a little bit of adhesive. Let me grab, I like to use my little silicone craft mat when I'm just adding a little bit of adhesive like on the stems just so I don't get adhesive all over my grid paper. So we are going to, let's see. Uh, I just wanna kinda of slip this underneath here a little bit. Maybe if I put one there and maybe I'm gonna do one right there. Okay, now we are going to tie a bow. So I'm trying to slip this underneath here. Is it cooperating? I don't know. I feel like it's not. <laughs> okay, come on, ribbon. Where are, let me get my paper snips. If I go that way, if I lift it up, there we go. Okay. So we are going to, I just had this extra little strip here. Normally this is always on my bolt of ribbon, um, but I cut it for some reason, then I had a bunch left over. So, okay, we're gonna pull on that. We are going to, <laughs> Diana, thank you so much. I'm glad you like these cards. So they're a great kind of um, uh, starting point too, you know? Um, so you could do this really with any um, designer series paper or any stamp set, whatever you have on hand, you can use to make these cards, right? The, the layout, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You can use the layout. Um, you could do it even like not Christmas cards too, right? So you could um, make birthday cards, whatever you need to have on hand. Okay, so we're adding just a couple of little um, real red rhinestones. I just had to have a little bit of sparkle on my leaves and the card. And I think, is that it? Thank you, Susan. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying these cards. I kind of loved it too. I loved this paper too. So that's, again, the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper that is on sale right now through Saturday. Hello, Carol. Um, yeah, where's my other card? <laughs> I'm like looking around. And then again, here's another one of the patterns. Oh, I should have shown you the backside. You might have seen it when I put the um, adhesive on, right? But I love both of these cards. Again, featuring the wrapped in Christmas stamp set and then the heartwarming hugs designer series paper. So thank you, ladies. I'm so glad you are enjoying these cards. Um, I will give you a quick recap, right? In case you're new to Facebook Live, I want to make sure everybody knows that you can get both of these cards sent to you. If you put an online order in of at least $30, you'll get these cards that I just demonstrated for you. Um, you will also get, where's the paper, right? You will get your name in the drawing to win the um, uh, Neutrals Designer Series Paper Pack with at least a $30 order, right? You can use this host code, the Y-E-D-V-S-D-Q-H. I will have a new host code for November also that will be on my blog. So either one that you use, they'll both qualify, right? If you bump your order up to $50, you get to choose from either the Wonderful Gems or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial as my thank you for you. Um, ordering through me. So I truly appreciate, like I said, every online order helps me keep plugging along, doing these Facebook Lives, um, keeps my business going, which I appreciate so very, very much. So I hope you guys, it sounds like everybody enjoyed these cards. So thank you. I love that you did because I did these all on my own too. A lot of times I have to kind of case things. Um, I actually had these layouts kind of from previous um, cards that I had done, but I did them all on my own, ladies. So I'm feeling really proud about that too. Because <laughs> you know, sometimes we're not always as creative as we hope we could be, right? So just know that. it's There's no shame in casing things, um, but it is so fun when you can come up with something all on your own too, isn't it? So have a great day. Have a great weekend. Thanks for hanging out with me today on a Thursday instead of a Friday, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thank you.